Black Culture Podcast once again. I am the Willie Ashford. That is nice. my pra- Oh, he beat me to it. Okay, he coming in hot today. Coming in hot. I like it. I like the energy. I love the energy, man. We are Black Culture Podcast, man. As always, as always, we want to thank um, our listeners. If you out there listening on Apple, Google, Spotify, um, uh, what's the other one I'm missing? iHeart. iHeart. Thank you so much, man. If you on Apple, give us a five star rating. Please. Tell a friend, man. Please tell somebody about the Black Culture Podcast. Um, so the people on the YouTube. Support. Yeah, yeah, we love the support for the people on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for um, subscribing. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that notification button, man, because we're trying to hit you guys with content each and every day, man. Again, thank you all. Thank you all. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at the Black Culture Podcast. And something else I got to start doing in uh, in these videos. I'm going to make sure it's on this one, man. Listen, if you want to send a donation, to the to 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 the channel listen nothing is too small for us it is money sign black culture podcast is it black culture podcast or the black culture podcast black culture podcast money sign black culture podcast man um if you want to send something we greatly appreciate it it's all going towards the channel and to bring you guys more content with that being said man we got we got yeah i said god we have uh Say god, very, man. i like god <laughs> You like got cool. We got we got a very very um interesting topic, man. Listen, Price and I just be randomly texting and talking throughout the day. We come with these topics, and we instead of just talking about them through text, we said, "Man, let's let's bring it to the platform." And um, it's a lot of things that go on in our culture. It's a lot of things that go on in our community. It's a lot of great things that go on in our community. A lot of great things that go on in the black community. Tons of it. It's also a lot of bad things that go on in the black community. Some that we may not be willing to talk about, that we may want to gloss over, that we may want to be able to just look past like it's not a problem. Tonight, today, whatever time it is you're watching this video, today we're going to discuss some of the things that we do not like about the black community. Mm, That's a good one. Yeah, so I've done enough talking, so I'm gonna hand the floor to my man and I'm gonna let him start off, man. Price, tell us what are some things that you look back at our community and you just don't like. I already know one of them. If you follow us on TikTok, you see that one, and I think you might even know what my one of my first ones is gonna be. But go ahead, man. All right, so the black community, I I would actually say, and I'm gonna say the one that I talked about on TikTok, but this one probably takes the cake. Okay. The violence. Oh, yeah. Right? So... Yes, I'll go ahead and mark that off my list. You got that one already? <laughs> Damn, man. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> no, it's cool. Listen, it's cool. <laughs> I was like, well, all right, well, look, I'm going to get my take real quick and then you give your take. But yeah, No, no, bro. just go, man. I'm vibing off you, man. Pro- talk, bro. I'm yeah. sure we got the same things on our list anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> and even without the violence, I'm going I'm to get to that. I'm going to lead into that. But it's like the animosity we feel towards another black man when we see him, we see him doing well, we see him pull up in that whip, we see him, you know, whether they they don't necessarily have to be a celebrity, but famous, they're doing big things. We have this sort of innate jealousy where it's like we try to downplay what they're doing to make ourselves feel better. But if we see somebody from another ethnicity doing that, we don't feel the same way. Yeah. So like my personal, my personal <laughs> stories with that are, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but man, have you ever like been walking somewhere and you see a brother, you know how we are, we, you know what I'm saying? We, that, that not, you ever had them like, like they see you, but they completely ignore you. Like you're not even there. That's like one of the hate, worst I hate speaking things, to people bro. They don't say nothing. I hate because I was taught you see somebody you speak to them. So I hate when I speak Absolutely. to somebody, they don't say nothing back. And and here's where it gets worse. So I've been, and I'm sure you have too, I've been in places where I'm the only person of color, right? And you happen to see another person of color. They, you know, you didn't see him at first, but you so y'all are the only two people of color. So of course you got to make your way over there and speak to them, whatnot. 
that's what we call the color section, right? <laughs> but you do that same thing and they act like they don't see you, man. It it's just like it's just like a knife in the gut and they twist it. I hate that. I also hate the fact that that animosity can lead up to violence. So you did an awesome video where you were talking about accountability in the black community and you know what happened at your son's football games. The fact that pettiness can turn into lives being lost, things from you have on a pair of shoes that I like. Thank you. I mean, that's really as far as it's supposed to go. Thank you. I appreciate like you have had people say, look, man, I like that watch. I like those shoes. It should be like, okay, thanks. Appreciate it. Not, I got to come up out of these shoes or I'm going to lose my life. Like that's some of the dumbest ish that I've ever heard. And the fact that we look at each other as a threat, like you ain't going to the white community, killing them. You're not going to the Indian community, killing them, but you see somebody that looks like you and you think it's okay. You have a license to kill as if to say, ain't nobody going to kill you, but me like, come on, man. Like, that's what I hate that animosity that we have towards each other and that it it leads up to to lives lost and i'm gonna shut up after this and i think you said it you were saying how if somebody from another community comes and kills one of our people it's an uproar but if we kill each other crickets that's my first thing. yeah um so i'm kind of i'm gonna stay in the area where you're at um and i'm i'm i'll use the word jealousy because oftentimes and i talked about this earlier we talked about it too um it's hard for us to encourage one another think about how many great ideas we've had and we're so excited about it man i can't wait to tell my bro i can't wait to tell the people in the community you tell them and they convince you that Something that you thought was a great idea was not a great idea. <laughs> they shoot you down, man. Yeah, bro. The, the peer pressure, man. And and and, and it's, we got this way of thinking because I feel a certain way about something. You got to feel that certain way, too. Like, because I don't like that man over there. No, Price, you bet not like him because I don't like him. So I want you to like him. You don't even got a reason not to like him, but just because I don't like him. And I hate that the clickish, the click thing that's that's within within our culture, Ooh, within our community. That's, I can't. That's that's something I can't stand, bro. I can't stand that, man. And and listen, Bone Thugs of Harmony, man. Um, shout out to Drink Champs, man. The podcast. I think it was uh busy might have been on there, and he has said like they were so wrapped up into Cleveland, they were so into Cleveland getting love here, they didn't realize how big they were. No, when Mariah Carey was Mariah Carey, they didn't even know who Mariah Carey was. They were at the top of the charts, and they she was wondering, yo, who is these dudes from Cleveland that keep knocking me off number one? So she was like, okay, let me collab with them. They were so wrapped up what was going on here in their bubble, inside this bubble, that they had no idea what was on the outside. They were about to turn down the opportunity to make music with Mariah Carey. And I look at that, like how many times in our community that we're so wrapped up in one certain area to where there's a whole community, there's whole different opportunities that we, we miss out on them. One, because the, the clique we're in is convincing us, no, man, it's all love over here. Why go over there, man? Why spread that over here, man? Keep it over here. Listen, man, it's enough love to go around. Definitely in the community. Listen, if you don't spread it out, the community is not going to grow. You're going to have one side of the garden growing and the other side of the garden dying out because you're not spreading it, man. So that's one thing I hate, man. We don't we don't love each other enough. We hate each other. The jealousy and the clicks, man. These clicks got to stop, man. I know bro, you got something else hit me with. Bro, speaking of bone, right, and, and just hip-hop in general. Hip-hop is the number one export from the United States of America. It's, it's bigger than pop music. Right. In fact, hip hop technically is pop music because pop stands for popular. Here's another thing that I hate about our community, because as a culture, our culture is so loud and everybody wants to have a part of it, literally. 
So the hip hop industry was created off of us, just like so many other things, but it's been copied by the whole world. Dude, they got hip hop in China. I mean, you literally see these Chinese rappers over there and it sounds just like American hip hop. Idris Elba was talking about when, you know, because when they first started rapping over there and I think he's from East London or something like that, they were trying so hard to sound American because that was the sound. Here's what I hate. As much as we've done for culture on a global scale, just like our boy Elijah Tyson said, we don't own none of it. We don't own one industry. So think about all the things we've made popular, all the brands, right? We got all the alcohol brands, all the car brands, all the watch brands, all the fashion brands, all up in our music videos and in our music, but we don't own none of it. Why is our culture for sale? Like, that's the one thing I hate. If you're going to promote anybody's thing, why don't you promote your own so you can own it? Like, we just started getting to the point where artists are owning their masters. We're owning our, 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 our own brands. We're taking charge of our own brands. But the thing that I hate is that we make everybody else's brand popular through our culture, but we don't own none of it. Yep. Okay. That was your second one. Here's my second one. Things that I hate, can't stand about the Black community. Our health habits, man. And I'm not even talking about eating. I'm going to leave that to you. I know you'll get into it. I'm just talking about exercising, period, man. Like, like, listen, t- and tell me if you notice this, Price. When you mention exercise, people automatically think that you talk about going in the gym, just lifting 500-pound weights. And, like, yeah. that's, yo, yeah. I don't know why people think that's the only type of exercise it is. I'm not lifting no weights. Listen. Cardio too, like getting up and walking up and down your street a couple times a day. That's exercise. And if you look around, like, like, man, we have so if you just look around our our community, man, you see all these people with weight problems. You see all these people, mostly if you got weight problems, nine out of ten, you got knee problems because you're carrying all of that weight. And I just like. And the thing about it, we all were young at one time, man. We all were athletic. We all were not even athletic. We had we're moving around doing things. But it comes a time where I don't know what it is. You just let it go. Like black people die too young. And most of the time it's, it's because of your health. And what people don't realize in our community is your health starts affecting this up here. And once you lose your health and you lose your mental, bro, you ain't got nothing left. And, and I can't stand it. Like, listen, listen, do some cardio, go to Walmart, get some weights. You can literally walk up and down your stairs a couple of times a day and work out. But that's the one thing I look around. I can't stand man. I'm in a gym every day. Depending on the area where I'm at, even when I was in the area over here, man, it's more white people younger. I'm talking about younger. It, we getting better at it, but it's more white people in the gym than it, than it is us and that's something that i can't stand like we got to get out like even if you on a treadmill and you're not running just walking like we have to get better at health man eating habits man i'll be trying to tell tell people in our community switch one thing about your diet switch start off with one thing that's the one thing where a lot of people go they fail they go cold turkey you cannot go cold turkey i to me i i, I can do it i've got myself up to where i could just do that but everybody can't do that pick something out your diet that you don't like if you drink a, let's just say you drink a lot of juice say you know what man i'm gonna go a whole two weeks without drinking juice if you can't go a whole two weeks without drinking juice you got some you you gotta get your priorities together start with two weeks i'm gonna go a whole two weeks without drinking juice i'm just gonna drink water man my kids and it's my kids we don't drink pop we don't drink juice I let the kids drink juice every now and then, but for the most part, it's water. You go downstairs in my kitchen, you're going to see three stacks of cases of water because that's what we are programmed to do. Switch your eating habits. Stop eating candy. Stop eating snacks. Go a week without eating snacks. And I'm telling you, if you build up that consistency of taking something unhealthy out of your diet, you know your body. How many times have you looked in the mirror like, man, I noticed since I started doing this, this has changed. I may not notice it, but I don't know your body. 
you may notice something priced on your body that look different that somebody else not. And I'm telling you, man, that's a wonderful feeling when you put the work in, switching your diet, working out, and you look in that mirror and you step on a scale like, man, all right, I lost a couple pounds. That's going to make you want to go harder. I'm telling you, man, high blood pressure, heart condition runs in our community. That is the silent killer, man. Go get you. Hey, Price, I'm going to pass it to you. Get on the men about going to high, go, go and get checkups because that's one another thing. I don't like about our community, man. Man, that's a mouthful, bro. And, you know, you just said something that is going to change that. And that's the fact that you as a parent are leading the cause for your kids because so many of us grow up eating it. And by the time we become adults, it's such a habit that you don't even realize you're doing anything wrong until you start looking around. It's like, why am I the biggest person in here? You bro, know what kids I'm love juice, man. It gets to the point oh, yeah. now where my kids at dinner like we'll have the juice because it's kids you gotta let them get some juice you gotta go grab it. the water wow so and i love great. it that's great see growing up i don't know about you man we was drinking kool-aid with a bro bag i can't sugar remember the last time i drunk kool-aid i hate i don't i, I don't hate know. kool-aid i can't remember the last time i had it either but i know growing up it was sweet drinks like you got to think my grandparents came from down south so I, I don't know the last time you've been down south, bro, but that was the sweetest tea I've ever had. Except there was a restaurant here. I won't say the name. It tasted like they put a bag of sugar in that tea. And you it remember how they so switched sweet. it up? Listen, go I, ahead. I, not to cut you off. I'm, I'm no, no, up, no, man. go ahead. Go ahead. You just brought some up. They had the Kool-Aid packets. You remember the little yep. uh things of like the sweet sugar? They was yep. different colors. Yep. Bro, is that not the most unhealthy? That's thing terrible. <laughs> That's terrible, that. bro. We was we was killing those, man. We was killing, bro. Just 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 think about the things we had available, which they probably still have. We're just you know so far gone from that, from putting that into our bodies. But just think about what you just said: the sugar packet, the cheese sticks, that long thing of cheese sticks, pork pork rinds that you can buy like a bag of potato chips, funyuns, my mom hot called Cheetos, them skins. bro, skins like. Just think about the crap that we used to eat, the stuff that they feed, that they fed us. And just think, it was usually another culture capitalizing off of it that shares our African ancestry, but it's just not our culture. And they don't advocate for our community, but they was profiting off of it, off of our sickness. And here, here's the real sad part about it, too. A lot of us don't realize it until it's too late. Like, we got to go, like, it's one thing for you and I to tell our friends, hey, man, you got to change your diet. It's not until the doctor got to tell you because you diabetic or you got cancer or you got diabetes and you got to go to dialysis or it's too late when you got to go to hospice. You know what I mean? It's like it, it gets to that point. Like I never forget. And I told you this before I went to a funeral and I was seeing people walking there three, 400 pounds on average. And it was just like, and I, you know, I had really been in church that time in a long time. So I was used to seeing it growing up. But when I went to that funeral, I was like, they next. Like, that's really what I was saying to myself. They are, they are next, man. But yeah, food. That's another thing I hate. Our diets have to change. We got to leave all the fried foods alone. All the meat, you don't need meat with every meal. You don't even need meat every day. Man, people feel like if it ain't meat and if it ain't some type of meat or some type of bread, it ain't a full meal. The meal is not complete. And look, here, here's what's so funny about that. What do we season our food with other than salt? Uh, with plants. Plants. With plants. We season our food with plants. So what's really making that food taste good? Plants. So... That has to change. As far as getting a checkup, you need to be, and I, I tell people this, you need to be as aggressive about maintaining your health as you are about when you was about eating them chicken wings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only, like, you can't do the same things and expect things are going to change. The old saying Continue to do the things you've always done. You're going to continue to get what you've always got. But yeah, food, that's one thing I hate about our, our community. But I will say that there is a movement for better diets, 
and better health because a lot of the information that we have now wasn't available to us when we were young. All right, here we go. Y'all know what's coming. Accountability. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, uh, here go Willie with accountability again. We already got two videos. Go watch those videos. But listen, I'm not even talking about that type of accountability. We just talked about health, right? Hold each other accountable with that. Not just when it's, you know what I'm saying, have to do with incriminating somebody or shaming somebody. Listen, man. Some people need, need a workout, buddy. Me personally, I, I even price. I don't need a workout, buddy. It's fine to work out with somebody, but some people you may need that support to work out. You may need somebody to push you. Let's start pushing each other positively. That's one thing too that about our community. It's not enough positivity in our community. Everything's negative, man. The energy is just bad. Like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. In, in this house, man, we are all about positivity. My wife. In the morning, talks to the kids, positive thinking. Listen, I believe in what you put out in the atmosphere, you can get it right back. So if you put out negativity, negativity is going to snap you right in the face. If you put out positive energy, positive thoughts, if you wake up, man, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. It's going to be a great day. God woke me up this morning. Let's get it. Man, you're going to have a great day. Not saying it's all going to be peaches and cream, but, man, we, we wake up with the wrong mindset. Man, when I was younger, I used to hear people say, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Man, as you get older, you start thinking about that. It hit different. Because it's not that you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. You woke up with the wrong energy, bro. You went to bed mad. You're going to wake up mad. We got to stop going to bed upset, man. You got to wake up. You got to go to bed with positive thoughts so you can wake up happy, ready to hit it, man. We got to start speaking life into each other. We don't speak life into each other enough, man. Yes, we sir. like to, we like to, it's like we pray. And we can't wait for someone in our community to make a mistake so we can say, see, Ooh. I'd have never did that. See, it's like we sit in the cut way for that, man. That's a terrible life to live, yo. That's a terrible life to live. And, and yo, can you mind if I add one more to that? Oh, I'm done, man. Baton is yours, brother. Because no, I know no, this. I saw you. I see you squirming around over there. Go ahead. No, no. What you were saying, man, is it's like everything you saying led up to this. And that's we don't forgive each other. Ooh. Don't bro. we know how to hold some grudges, man? Man, forever. Bro, black <laughs> people can hold grudges. Listen, bro, I'm sorry. I, I stepped you on your today. shoe. It's, I didn't mean it. <laughs> bro, it's October 5th, 2021. Man, we can meet 20 years later. I still be mad at you, man, for not speaking to me back in 2000. And, it's 2032. I'm still mad at you for not speaking <laughs> to me in 2021. Man, and you know what? Here, Here's really what that boils down to. We got to talk to each other. Because I feel like a lot of these issues we that learn we learn how to talk to each other. Yeah, yeah. You know what? We got to do a clip on that too. Because that's that's like super important. We don't know how to talk to each other. Like you and I, if I well, I think you and I, and it's something that you and I talked about very early yeah, it's on hard to like compare us because it's like we know each other for a while now. So it's like I know, like, you know what I'm saying? But we're black people, we're based off of energy. So if it's a random dude coming at you in the street, he could just be hyper. But if he come at you talking, you may be like, oh, bro, calm that down, man. Because you don't know him. And we like we don't know how to channel that. And like we don't know how to like read that emotion, man. And, like we always in defense mode. Always in defense mode. Bro, with that, <laughs> take us home, Willie. <laughs> Listen, man, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to finish this one, man. We're gonna we're gonna have to hit this one apart too. Cause there's so much more that comes to it when we start thinking about it, man. But this was just like um a, a little quick discussion, man, that we want to have. We want to continue to have, man, because it, it, it's important to have these discussions and bring awareness to this in our community. Because man, that energy that we talked about, man, that's one thing about us. Um, we feed off of energy. So the energy you give me, the attitude you give me is the attitude I'm going to give you back. So we have to learn. I'm going to leave you all with this. We have to learn how to talk to each other. We have to learn how to forgive each other. First thing, let's start with this, man. Let's take it one step. Let's learn how to talk to each other. Let's learn how to say nice things to each other. Compliment each other. Hey, nice shirt. Good morning. Nice, nice shoes you got. Can I help you with that? Get the door for each other. Let's start off with that. 
put that in the air, put that in the energy, and watch it circulate around your community, and watch how the community change, man. There it is. There it is. Well, with that, um, another one, in the words of DJ Khaled, you know, another one. Yo, really, really uh, appreciate the support, you guys. And listen, don't hesitate. What do you guys want to change in yeah. the black community? Like, I would yeah, love to hear from hear, hear from our audience because we all have different. One, our audience is global, so there may be someone in another part of the world that has a different experience or they may have had the same experience but just in a different place so please let us got let us know what you guys think should change um with that being said if you like the content make sure you like this video subscribe make sure you share it make sure you follow us facebook instagram twitter tiktok linkedin um if you haven't subscribed to the podcast we're on apple google spotify and iheart and if you want exclusive content patreon and just like my homeboy Willie said earlier, if you feel so inclined, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. to donate to the podcast to keep this thing going, dollar sign Black Culture Podcast on Cash App. Willie, you got anything left? No, man, I'm good, man. Thank you all again. Um, this was fun. This was fun. Please, man, hit that comment section up. I'm curious to see. We always respond in the comments. So go ahead, man. Hit that up. And that's all I got, man. Well, until next time. It is the Black Culture Podcast. Peace.